All right, last time we were sightseeing in Warburg City. This place is well known for its coal mines, which provide energy for the entire Central Region. Apart from the routine for talking to everyone, we also visited the museum to see some cool exhibitions, learning some basics about coal mining history. We then exercised a bit in a suburban area, Route 207. We caught a wild match of shortly after, and thanks to that experience, Starly evolved into Starvia. And a few battles later, Chen Che also evolved. He became Monferno. Man, this is literally an evolution spray. The quick training is so worthwhile. With a stronger team, we returned to Orbrook City looking for the gym leader. Well, it turns out that he's not in town. He is actually underground right now, in the mine. So obviously, we need to sneak into the mine and pull him out, which is our agenda today. Cool, see you underground. All right, last time we were exploring the Orbrick city. We talked to everyone and we get a lot of information. According to people in town, the gym leader is actually hiding under the ground. He's in charge of the whole mine, so I suppose he's coming here and overseeing how everything goes on. All right, today we are going to have adventure in the mine, catching some wild Pokemons, challenging everybody here, and most importantly, deck out the gym leader so that we can have a battle with him fair and square. Cool. Whoop. Okay, so we are blocked by the tunnels here. Guess we need to go downstairs. Let's talk to this man first of all. Hey, how are you? Everyone who works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged in battles, huh? <laughs> Alright, thanks for that warning. <laughs> there are Pokemon that look just like rats. They sure surprised me. Like Jill dude. Yup. So by the way, let's take a look at the Pokemons in the list. So we have the bird, Jill dude, Monferno, Shinx, ooh, Badoof, and Badoo. Alright, let's actually put Badoo to the first place, cause I reckon we are going to bump into Rock Pokemons, Ground Pokemons, and maybe most of the mine workers are using those type of Pokemons as well. But do you can have an upper hand in these battles? Neat. Wow, it's pretty deep, man. Ooh, feels a little spooky, honest. Oh, I feel some. I have goosebumps somehow. <laughs> wow, look at this place. Hey, how are you? Are you a trainer? No. I met this match on Route 207. They have now become my most trusted partners. Wow. Yeah, fighting Pokemons are good helpers. Oh, wow. He is going to challenge us. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work. Wow, it's literally a fine worker. <laughs> a matchup. Huh? That's expected. Hold on, it is considered as slacking off? You're supposed to work. Now you're just having some fun. <laughs> Fight with me. Oh, that's so little. Come on. Alright, our defense is dropped. That's another good news. Hmm. Let's see how much damage we can cause here. Let's see, absorb. So we have, ooh, neat. We have used growth one. So our special attack has increased. <gasps> I think we're dead. Okay, okay, time for work. I will work up a thirst with my Pokemon. Alright, bye! Oh, wild Pokemon in Canada. Let's see what we can find here. Ah, Jill, dude, I knew it. Nowadays, Jill, dude, becomes more stubborn. Uh, because they somehow, the ability of. Uh, what's the ability of Jill, dude? I forgot. Yeah, like that. It doesn't die right away. It's 30, exactly. It prevents it from being one hit KO. So if you somehow kills Jill Dude uh, once its HP is full, it doesn't die immediately. So it will only have it's it always has one HP left in the end, so it's super annoying. 
I remember in previous version, Sturdy was not as annoying as this, so one absorb can surely kill Geodude. Hmm. Neat, we find a potion! Wow! Oh, that's the gym leader, I believe. So easy to find him. Hey, <laughs> I thought you were somewhere far, far away. Uh, anyhow. It is a rugged road, but it may be able to smash it with a hidden move. Okay, so he ignores me. What? How dare you? Huh, weird. Oh, maybe we have to challenge all the mine workers, then come back to talk to him? Ugh, <laughs> come on. Dude again, I hate Sturdy nowadays. It's really hard to kill Dude. However, Dude has another ability. Uh, like this. Apparently, he doesn't have Sturdy. I think he has the ability of Rock Hat. Oh, but do you to level 10? Neat. Onyx. Ooh. Wow, that's a huge Pokemon. Let's see. But again, it's double effective, so the damage is four times. You can't possibly survive this. Ooh. Oh, one second. I love the background. It feels like all your painting. Oh, just so artistic. But do you level 13? All right. I'd better get him back to work. <laughs> you know, I'd rather be traveling around with Pokemon the way you do. Ooh, so do you want to quit your job? And, well, you can't. You probably have a family to support, not like a teenager. Oh, Escape Pro, by the way. Oh, it's so nice to be a kid. You don't have to worry about the finances. You just go anywhere you want with your Pokemon. However, you might need to work. <laughs> Whoa, Onyx! Lovely. We can catch it. We don't have this piece of data in our Pokédex. Uh, one Absorb can probably kill him. Let's stun for him. What is this? This animation sucks! What the hell? That's the worst animation. Oh, come on. College student can even make that. It's gross! What? Anyway, uh, we're trying to catch him, right? Uh, see who can do the job. Monferno. Oh, we can't be switched out. We were wrapped at the moment. Ugh, that's frustrating. Let's try to catch him right away. I doubt it, though. <laughs> Wow, we're just lucky, man. <laughs> Onyx's HP is full. <laughs> I can expect to catch him this easily. <laughs> Shanks level 14. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. It squirms through the ground using its long and rugged body. It always eats while burrowing. Ooh. Eat eating dirt? Uh, so I don't want to add it to my party. Uh... Alright, let's move on. <laughs> wow, Badu is running out of absorb. That's bad. We probably forgot to go into uh, Pokemon Center before. <laughs> ah, sturdy again. Damn it. <laughs> I have my own Jew dude who is immune to Sandstorm. Alright, Jew dude versus Jew dude. Oh, look at this picture, so harmonious. <laughs> Two Jew dude are staring at each other under uh, Sandstorm. Ah, <laughs> uh, one tackle is good enough. Yeah, he only has a sliver left. Bye.
Huh? Where are we? There's no other ways. I'm confused. Then I'm just getting out. But somehow the gym leader ignores us. Why is that? Ah! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> wow, Monferno. Wow, looks so handsome. Love it. Power punch. <laughs> Man! That's destructive. La 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 la. Uh, you know what? Let's talk to him one more time. I don't know what's going on. Maybe he will change his mind. It's just really weird. He's facing the wall, ignoring us. And now we have challenged all the workers here. Maybe he will. Ugh. Forget it. After this body encounter. <laughs> Ah, sturdy again. I knew it. This is so obnoxious. I hate you, dude. Yeah, it prevents it from one uh, being one shot. Hey, come on. Wow, I guess the condition of him turning around and talking to us is to complete all the challenges with other mine workers? That's so odd. There's no indication for it. I thought something is wrong, like glitches or... Ugh, it's really weird. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move rock smash, get rid of the boulder blocking your way. All the boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gem in game, you would be able to do this too. Of course, you would have to be the gem leader first. That would be me. Nah, okay. You sound a little cocky. <laughs> I am going to use the escape rope. I don't want to bump into other Pokemons. That's just annoying. Wait a sec. Oh, there you go. Use this item. Wow, I am teleporting out. All right, let's heal everybody up. That just reminds me that we didn't come to this Pokemon Center before, huh? And we haven't talked to the folks here, right? Hey, how are you? Switching on the PC and any Pokemon Center and connecting the Pokemon boxes. That is how all you need to do to store or bring out your Pokemon. You may be able to access the Poke boxes from the manual screen. Really? I can. I actually tried it. Huh. I think I pressed all, uh, pressed all the buttons here. None of them worked. Anyway. If you'd like to change your appearance from the unit drop, Talk to the receptionist to the left on the second floor. Change my appearance? I'm not interested. Yay! I traded Pokemon at the Global Club downstairs. Oh, but I don't think I can go downstairs at the moment. The nurse is blocking the entrance. I'm very sorry. We're working underground right now. It's off limits to the public. Please try later on. Dun, dun, dun. I remember this is almost the routine that before. Uh, winning the first gym badge, you're not able to trade Pokemons with others. I believe the game designers must want us to use our own Pokemons to win the first gym fight. They don't want us to cheat. Wow. <laughs> That's breathtaking. <laughs> so phenomenal. Wow. Hey, how are you, guy? Howdy. How's going, champ to be? That's what I said to the very impatient boy earlier too. Oh yeah, I know. He's my rival. Whatever. The gym leader is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen. Rock-type really hate water, alright? They are also weak to grass. See? They sure have weaknesses. Of course they do. And they are double weak to water and uh, grass in most cases. I don't think it will be all easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after Rock-type Pokemon with a fire Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. Yeah, it really matters what starter you choose. But actually, I chose 
Fire, which is among Inferno right now. He actually learns fighting moves, so it's not a big deal for him to handle rocks. But uh, to make things easier, oops, we are going to swap him out from the first place. We're going to use Pedu. Ah, neat. Hey. La, 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 la. You avoided the long way. Around. Let's see why you would do that. Oh, so technically you can bypass these sidekicks. Hmm, now I want extra experience. Dun, 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 bum, 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 juju. Now nah, that's a one shot, hopefully. <laughs> Neat. So this Geodude doesn't have the ability sturdy. So it's much easier. All right, one more. La 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 Ali does come on away and challenge Pokemon Gym! I can foresee the battle will be one-sided with the gym leader because we have Badu with us and grass is just so destructive. Ooh, Onyx. Neat. Nah, it's just a matter of one shot. Bye. One day, I'm going to become a tough trainer like you. Oh. We are going to challenge the gym leader. Oh, that's so exciting, so stimulating. Man, let's see what props we can have. Maybe we can equip our Pokemon with some good props. Focus Band. I don't to be held with Pokemon. The holder may endure a potential KO attack, leaving it with just one HP. Oh, neat. We can give this to a Pokemon, for instance. Monferno, how about that? And we can use Quick Claw. We can give Quick Claw to Geodude, for instance, because Geodude is too slow. So sometimes Quick Claw can come into effect and Geodude will attack first. And that's not bad. We don't have any other Pokey, uh, like props. Uh, we don't have any berries, which is sad. Otherwise, we can let them carry berries, then uh, it will heal Pokemon automatically. Anyway, let's talk to the gym leader and initiate a fight. Welcome, this is the Orbit Pokemon Gym. I'm Gorg, the gym leader. I am but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I will need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. This music is so heart stirring. Oh, love it. It's so epic, so classic. Let's just absorb it. Let's see if it's a one shot. Oh, not there yet. Roll out. Too late. All right, first Pokemon down. It's a nice starting. Actually, if Rollout builds up the power, it's really threatening. But Judo doesn't have the opportunity to do so, and Judo is always super slow. Monferno level 15. Wow, everybody grows to level 15. <laughs> What's going on? So promising. Wow. Rock throw. Eh, I hate it. Ugh. Wow, it's not too bad. The good news is Badu can always gain HP back by absorbing. Hey, you use a potion? That's kind of cheating. 
Uh, anyway, just a matter of time. We can keep absorbing, and then you keep using potion. <laughs> it's pointless. One more potion? Seriously? It doesn't work. Alright, I think the third absorb will finish it over. Bye. Wow, but you, you are the MVP today. I am so grateful that I have Badoo in my team. Think you can take Dear the next Pokemon? Look at that confetti. Mode Breaker, what is that? I can't remember the ability of. What is Mode Breaker? It seems horrifying. You know what? Just to play it safe, we are going to stun for him. Ah, we missed it! Oh, holy shit! Oh my gosh! Our speed fell, damn it! We need to paralyze him. Headbutt. Oh, damn it, don't flinch us. What? Ah! <laughs> It's terrible that Stun Spore misses the first turn, but even though we use Absorb, it, it won't kill him. He is pure rock type, I remember. It's not rock plus ground. You know what? Let's use Rollout. Defense Curl, first of all. Dun, dun, dun. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> defense score will offset the effect of Leer. We are going to increase our defense, but more importantly, after defense curl, rollout's power will be doubled. So that's what we want. Alright, let's use rollout. Whoa! That's... Splendid! Oh, Jiu Dude, you are the saver of the team! Nah, that doesn't work! No matter how many Leers you uh, cast on us, you will lose the battle! Well, it's much easier than I thought! <laughs> I thought the last Pokemon will demolish us! <laughs> we win the first gym battle! Whoa, it can't be! My buffed a Pokemon! <gasps> what? Shit, says the mommy! Man, it's so rewarding after Jim's battle. Oh man, ah! Oh, I'm losing myself. Wow, I'm so over the moon right now. <laughs> This is our third Pokemon evolving. Oh, Luxio! Shanks became Luxio. Man, I'm going to cry. Wow, what a good day. It rests its four legs on others to communicate with rhythmic electric pulses from its claws. This is embarrassing. I went and lost a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's the story. It was strong and I was weak. That's all there is. Now you're not weak. Well, you just made really bad choices. <laughs> when the last Pokemon was there, you just keep using Leer. It doesn't make any sense. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you have beaten me, the gym leader. Here is your official Pokemon League cool badge. Oh. Fancy! Look at that effect! <laughs> Having the cool badge means you can now use the Hidden Moon Rock Smash from your Pokech. You should also take these two. TM7... 76, what is that? Each TM76 contains the move Stealth Rock. Well, I never see him using that. Ah, oh, pathetic. It is a move that inflicts damage on opponents that switch into battle. 
And these are the stickers I use. Here, take some. Ah, I remember, yeah. <laughs> Not confetti, a uh, rocky confetti. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to your Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it, so be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. In this region of Sinnoh, there are seven other gym leaders. I should warn you, they're a lot tougher than I am. Wow, thank you. Alright, last words with this concierge. Ah, Betty, you have taken care of the gym leader. So, did my advice came in handy or not? If my advice was useful, it would be great that you would become my fan. <laughs> wow, we have successfully won the first batch. Oh, but you was the MVP, but now he is fainted. I'm sorry about that. And you, dude, carries over and he handles the last Pokemon. I forgot the name of it, but it's just dumb. Using Leer after Leer, which is really funny. Anyhow, we win the battle fair and square. Oh man, everyone did their part. On top of everything else, uh, Shanks evolves to Luxeal. Man, such a beautiful ending of this episode. All right, I am going to close today's episode. We've done a lot. We've been to the mine and we challenge all the mine workers there. Uh, after that adventure there, we find a gym leader and we drag him back. Then we started the fight. It was super easy for the first two Pokemons, but you handled them perfectly by absorbing. The last Pokemon was a little troublesome, but you was somehow killed um, because uh, stuns were missed. Anyway, 75 accuracy is nothing. Then, Geodude took over the baton and rolled over the last Pokemon. The victory is amazing. We won the first gym badge. Oh, that's fantastic. Alright, that's all for today's episode. Till the next time, please take care. If you have free time, catch Pokemons. Bye!